So this is Poppy. She is one of the Peking ducks, or Peking ducks, however you pronounce it. Uh, but she's one of the ducks that we got a couple of months ago. Um, yesterday, we noticed that she was walking with a limp. Uh, she is favoring her right leg and overnight it seems to have gotten worse. Uh, she, she won't even bear weight on it now. She basically will walk a few steps and then just lay down. She still does okay in the water, um, but she isn't walking very well. Now, as with any animal, when something like this happens, we have to narrow down the possibilities of what could be wrong. So, um, by seeing her limping, the most obvious problem uh, that comes to your mind is that she hurt her foot, maybe stepped on something sharp or sprained it, something to that effect. A duck's feet aren't very strong. They're not meant to walk a lot. They're made for swimming. So um, it is possible that she hurt it at some point walking from the pond to her pen, but I examined the foot and I didn't find any types of uh, cuts or anything of that nature. I probably can't get that super close, but the feet look good. The leg isn't necessarily swollen, but it does feel a little worn to the touch. The joints feel good. And otherwise, she seems to be pretty, pretty good. She's eating, drinking, um, but she just isn't up moving around a lot. Another common problem with ducks, um, particularly ducks kept, you know, in a pen or on a farm, is that they have a niacin deficiency. And niacin is vitamin B3. And the reason they have this deficiency is because most people that have ducks feed them a layered chicken food. Well, the chicken food has lots of niacin for a chicken, but a duck requires a little more and they just don't get what they would get in nature. Um, niacin can be found in worms and bugs leafy green plants and vegetables. So what we started doing yesterday was uh, we are feeding her salad mix, peas, carrots, um, fish. We're trying to uh, supplement her diet with extra niacin just in the event that that is the problem so if that is the problem hopefully we will see a difference in the next day or two she is a sweetheart and she doesn't like to be away from her sisters
but I do think she enjoys a little attention from us. You can just see in her eyes that she doesn't feel good. So the plan is to come out several times every day to um, get her from the pen to the pond. She needs to swim. That will be therapeutic for her leg, hopefully. And we will make sure that she gets from point A to point B safely. Uh, we will make sure that we are incorporating all those vegetables into her diet in case it is a, a vitamin B3 deficiency and we will just continue to monitor this situation and I just hope that she starts to heal and uh, that she's able to bear weight on that leg She's a good girl. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You are. You are. You like being scratched, don't you? You like being scratched on your face. Yeah. So she's having some difficulty standing up. It just seems to be on the one leg. But if any of you guys have um, raised ducks and have experienced this, hit us up in the comments and let us know um, what you were able to do to treat this. Okay guys, um, I brought the duck in and put her into one of the stalls so that we can monitor her throughout the night. She'll be safe in here and uh, she won't like it because she's away from her sisters. But, you know, sometimes we just have to do what's best for the animal. Um, I have her some fresh water and some food. Let me show you that real fast. So basically, what you're looking at here is peas, sardines, blueberries, and then a salad mix with some kale and carrots, some purple cabbage, um, all of the things that are suggested to increase um, her niacin intake. So I'm going to get that into her stall and we'll see if she eats. First, we'll try a little water. Oh, yeah. 
You're thirsty. You're a thirsty girl. We will make sure that she has fresh water at all times. Uh, it's important to keep her hydrated. And also, I didn't mention this earlier, but the I added some electrolytes um, and some uh, a vitamin mix into her water. So hopefully, this will keep her hydrated and give her the little boost that she needs to fight this off. So as you can see, her appetite hasn't <clears throat> been affected by this. She's eating really well. Probably need to move this bucket. Now, how's that? Is that better? You are set. You are set. Yeah. You're good. I know a lot of people may scoff or laugh at us for um, taking the time out to try to mend an animal. A lot of people would probably just throw this duck to the side, let nature take care of that and move forward with their healthy ducks. But that's just not how I see this whole process. You know, it doesn't matter if you raise birds for eggs or for meat, for whatever reason, I feel like it is my responsibility to give them a healthy life where they can thrive for as long as I can, even if that, even if the meat is going into the freezer, even if the animal is going to be processed at some point, it is my responsibility to take care of these animals up until that point. And so that's what we do. We try to care for every animal here 